This video episode of Tech for Geeks has been brought to you by TheUnlockingCompany.com. Unlock any phone with four easy steps. Visit TheUnlockingCompany.com for more information. Hey everybody, it's Hayato from Tech for Geeks, and today we're going to take a look at how to unlock the Samsung Galaxy S5 to be used with any supporting carrier worldwide. Let's take a look. So the Galaxy S5 is Samsung's latest flagship device, and it's a pretty badass phone. So we're running the latest version of Android 4.4 KitKat along with Samsung's newest version of TouchWiz. Uh, there's a 16 megapixel camera on the back that shoots awesome photos and 4K video. There's a heart rate monitor under that camera, a fingerprint scanner on the home button, and unless you're like me and you've already broken off the uh, USB charging flap, it should also be IP67 certified water resistant. So this is a great phone that a lot of people are going to find a lot of value in. And I've been using mine for about a week and loving it. The only issue is my, uh, my Galaxy S5 is only for T-Mobile. It's locked to that network and uh, my carrier of choice is actually AT&T. So what we're going to do is plug in an unlocking code from our friends at theunlockingcompany.com and get this working on any carrier. Now this is something that you can do with any Galaxy S5 no matter what carrier, no matter what country. So you should still be able to go to theunlockingcompany.com, get your code from them, uh, and use the instructions in this video to get your phone unlocked. So let's get started unlocking this one. Alright, so the first step we're going to take here is uh, actually finding the IMEI of the phone. And what the IMEI is is basically the serial number to the phone. And that's what's going to tell the unlockingcompany.com uh, exactly what unlocking code to send us. So to find that, what we're going to do is just go to the settings of the phone. We're going to scroll to the bottom here and hit about device. Now from here, you're just going to want to hit status. And uh, you're going to scroll down and right below phone number, you're going to see it says IMEI. I'm not going to scroll any lower because that's obviously the IMEI of my phone. But uh, that's, that's uh, how you're going to find it. Alternatively, what you could also do is go to the phone dialer, which is going to be right over here. Uh, and you're just going to want to type in star pound zero six pound. Uh, once you type that, it's going to have a little dialogue pop up with your IMEI. Uh, again, I'm not going to type that in so you don't see my IMEI, but uh, you, know, you, you understand how that works. So uh, that's the first step. Now we're going to actually take a look at the website and see where to go from there. Now that we're on the website, we're going to go ahead and get started by moving over here to begin by selecting your phone. We're going to click on your phone manufacturer. It's going to bring a drop down menu up. And of course, we're going to click on Samsung, and then your phone model is going to give us this huge drop down menu of all the different phones that Samsung has made over the years. There's a ton of them to scroll through. Going to go all the way to the bottom and hit Galaxy S5 unlock code right here. Uh, and then from there, you're going to hit Get Unlocking Code. That's going to take you over to the next page. Now, over here, it's going to ask for a little bit more info. Uh, so, it's going to ask for the country it was purchased from, which I'm going to click United States. And carrier of the phone, as I said before, is T-Mobile. Now right here is where it's going to ask for the IMEI. I'll put that in and uh, be right back in just a second. All right, so I've put in my IMEI, and now we're at the final step of the process. This is where it's just going to ask for our billing information. So you can see that uh, you can pay by either credit or debit, or alternatively, if you prefer, you can also pay by PayPal. Uh, there's also a spot down here where you can enter a discount code if you have one. And once all's said and done, all that's left now is to play the waiting game. So now that we've got our unlocking code, what we're going to do here is uh, pop out the battery and backing of the phone like I've already done here, and uh, go ahead and put our AT&T SIM card into the T-Mobile Galaxy S5. Again, you can do this with any carrier, uh, so it doesn't really matter what you've got. We're just going with uh, AT&T right now because that's what I have at hand. So we're going to put the battery back in, put the flap of the, uh, or the battery door, I guess, back onto the phone, and uh, let's power it back on and see what happens. Now the phone is powered back on. What we're going to do from here is just go ahead and unlock the screen. And here you can see it says SIM network unlock pin. So what it's doing right there is it's asking us for that unlocking code that we just got. Uh, what we're going to do here is just type it in. It's going to be 61426074. Hit unlock. You can see network unlock successful, which is great news. So now what you're going to see, it's going to prompt me to uh, close the battery cover, which I've already done. And now if we just give it a minute for the network to pull in right up here, you can see it still has that uh, little cross that shows no signal. Uh, in just a minute, we should pull in the network again. And there it is. So just moments later, you can see that that uh, circle with a cross through it has gone away. And in its place is four or five bars of service with AT&T, as you can see right there by the pull down menu. Uh, which is great news that so the phone is unlocked. Uh, now what you are going to notice also is that there's no data indication. So I don't have an H for HSP+, there's no 4G LTE, nothing like that. 
Uh, so what we're going to have to do is actually set up the APN settings for AT&T or whatever carrier you have. Uh, and so to do that, what we're going to do is just go to settings. Uh, whoops, you're going to go to the gear. Uh, network connections over here, you're going to want to hit more networks. And then you're going to hit mobile networks and access point names. That's what APN stands for in case you didn't know. Uh, and what we're going to have to do is just go online, look up the APN settings for AT&T, put those in manually just uh, by hitting that plus button. You'll just go ahead and type everything in, hit save. And once you've done that, you should start to pull in HSP plus or whatever data is currently available to you and what's supported by the device. So that's about all there is to unlocking the Galaxy S5. You know, again, thanks to the unlockingcompany.com, it's a really simple procedure, you know, for a very, very reasonable price. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you want to see more videos like this for how to unlock other devices, uh, we'll have more of that soon, as, as well as uh, smartphone reviews, unboxings, and uh, other coverage. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.